Now, here's the thing. Welcome back, by the way. Uh, these shots in the distance. I happened upon the scene uh, while going to meet with Deacon from the railroad, which I think we should do as our next quest. And I happened upon this shootout here. Now, this is Art. Remember Art from... Um, uh, I think we met him right before we first discovered Diamond City. Uh, he was that synth who was in trouble with his compatriots. Who found out that he was a synth. You or me. And look at this. He was fighting Art. The synth who was in trouble with his compatriots. <clears throat> that thing was wearing my face. Ah. Yeah. We found him once. I, I just want to be alone. And he said that exact same thing. Now, <laughs> let's see which one this guy is. I guess, I guess this must be the real art. And the other must be, you know, the synth. Which is actually really cool. Uh, you know, you can, you can actually find him again after he does that. But now I'm interested to see where he's actually going. So, uh, why don't we follow him a little bit and see what his plans are now that he's, um, he's killed his, I guess, ego? Because he's the alter ego. <laughs> At least he used to be. Uh, there's the, there's the Brotherhood over there. That over there looks like the Iron Giant, which might just be <laughs> an awkward angle for the building to be. Um, whoa, and a sailboat? What? Okay. That's interesting. I'm just gonna keep going and, and st to see what's, what's happening with art, you know. Might fast fast forward if it takes too long though. Actually, okay. I thought maybe if I pickpocketed him, I could verify that he's a synth, but of course you can't. I think I would have to shoot him or something, which I'm not really interested huh? in. Oh, Hold let's on. do this. Oh dear. That thing's huge. <clears throat> wow. There we go. Wrong people today. Where are you? Dog armor, that's sweet. Oh. Can't carry anymore. That's actually my. I'm pretty irradiated right now, so let's take a rat away and then heal a little bit, like this. Still too slow. <clears throat> oh yeah. Let's actually see. Maybe we can get rid of something here. Oh, yeah, definitely the uh, extinguisher. There we go. Oops. Who's shooting? Raider Scabber. Nice. Damn it. Oh dear. He's holding my breath too, too long. Oh yeah, that's art. Okay. 
Oops. What the? Uh, yep. Let's do this. Nice. Actually, it looks like these guys are healing themselves. If you leave them alone too much. He was trying to use a stim pack there. <clears throat> what I don't like though is that Ark just doesn't care. He's like just an NPC following his predetermined path to wherever he needs to go. And where there's an enemy nearby, you know, combat, the f combat function is triggered. So he keeps going, but he never really comments on what happens. Like the fact that I helped him fight these raiders or something. That kind of emergent gameplay. That's exactly what you want from a Fallout game, right? Now let's try not shooting the civilian if we can avoid it. Hey there. Hey there. Lost <laughs> track of how many blisters I got. Okay. Cool. Where are you going, Art? Hey. Look. I'm. I'm not that interested in chatting right now. Yeah. I mean, if he's really like this unsettled, uh, I wouldn't like expect him just to tell me like buzz off. I don't want to be followed or something. That would be cool as well. But it's just disappointing that you don't really have an impact on how these uh, NPCs really interact with you all that much, unless you know it's scripted to be that way in a quest or something. Well, sorry folks, I had to cut here because my game crashed. That uh, was wearing my face. I mean, the game doesn't always do that, oh, but whenever it does happen, I'm, it's particularly annoying. Anyway, right now. he keeps repeating the same voice lines, which is, you know... It was always my gripe, like I said, with Bethesda RPGs, um... Bunker Hill. Oh. Okay, so that's. Rumors lead to Bunker Hill. All right. Um. I guess we'll explore that uh, when we get the chance. Uh, Please. Oh. I. I just want to be alone. Hmm. Want to see where you're going, man? Oh, maybe he's gonna settle in here. Ah. Okay, okay, I see where this is going. Alright. Maybe we can, um... I the last time I saw the sunrise. Even this place can look pretty. Yeah. Um... I guess we'll catch up all with him when we find him back there inside. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> to reiterate my point, I keep getting disrupted. Uh... The NPCs in, in these games always kind of seemed like they were uh, robots. Just, you know, y you kept getting your immersion broken by being reminded that this is, in fact, a video game uh, because of their behavior. There's not, none of this really, like, emergent gameplay that would, you would hope would happen in these games. Um, anything they interact you, with you, uh, it's always, like, scripted stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's too bad, of course, and uh, maybe it's asking too much, but I was really hoping for something along those lines. If anything, let me play maybe a smaller game with less, uh, with, uh, less characters, but have them be fleshed out a little bit more. I could see that working out, maybe. But yeah, uh, Silver Shroud, we, we've seen that stuff before. Uh, but, you know, credit what creditors do. Uh, at least within like the cutscenes and uh, 
the scripted interactions, the characters look a lot more. There's the. The characters look a lot more. Um, they act a lot more. Oh god. Is he. hostile already? Uh oh. <laughs> Shit. I'm just gonna take my chance here. Because I've. No, he's friendly. He's friendly indeed. All right, <laughs> that was a little bit. Uh... Excuse me, yeah, you got it, Cabot House. Is this another settlement? Um, who are you, Mr. Handy? Okay, can I talk to the sentry box? Stay off the grass. <laughs> What if I do step onto the grass? Is he gonna attack me? Oh, that would have been funny. Okay, um, what was I going with this? Um, yeah, uh, the interactions are more vivid and uh, seem more, you know, like actual, like an actual conversation between real people oh that's just a hanged man so baby steps I guess it's still a fun game but it's not the revolution I was hoping for uh -oh. careful you might also run into some other railroad people in here We'll see. We were supposed to meet up with Deacon in the old church or something. Which apparently we've already uh, discovered. But I want to go there on foot and not fast travel because... Oh, a fusion core? Heck yes. Um, because I just wanted to find some stuff on the way, which I did. So that's pretty nice. Actually, is this the same... Right, this is the same uh, place we went to on the Freedom Trail. I just uh, came there from a different angle. Okay, so... I guess we just... Go around here again. Just gonna... To, uh, okay. Find out where I'm supposed to go. Already forgot. Yeah, okay. Right, it was in the basement. <laughs> okay. Is it here? No. Did I actually? No. I checked all that. Nothing to worry about. And the guy here they are. Up, put me on his shoulder and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Since everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So uh, is any of that true? Uh. <laughs> I don't really know how to take this. I guess Deacon really, really wants me in the railroad. Uh, yeah, let's be reasonable. True, but there weren't a hundred of them, and Deacon was with me the whole way. Embellishing the truth again, are we? She would have fallen for it, you know? Don't flatter yourself. Still, I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Well, that was easy. Well, I guess we're a member of a club now. But... Please sell me a little bit more on this. Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Not very many of us live to retirement. 
But if you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need writing. Well, thing is, uh, he has his own interests in mind with joining. He wants to find his son. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. Oh. So what's yours? Call me Fixer, Professor. Any suggestions? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Bullseye Charmer Whisper. <laughs> uh, let me think. Let me think. It's a big decision. Take your time. Okay. I guess we've. Whatever. Call it doesn't me really matter. Fixer. Fixer certainly seems an apt name. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded secrets, so be careful coming in or out. What is it? You never can tell when you're being watched. Okay. Level up. Let's see. What do we want? What indeed? Um, I think I want ninja. I'll get more sneak range and a lot more sneak melee attack damage. And with that um, silenced pistol we got, I think that's a good choice. All right. Well, let's talk to Deacon. Hey, welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. You know, the thing, the thing is, uh, yeah, I think Fawn would do that because he's trying to feel out what the railroad is all about. He trusts the railroad to a, de to a degree, I but... I not that boring. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. I actually don't mind, don't uh, like his attitude all that much, so I won't be sticking with him. But I think Fawn wants to have him around a little bit to see, you know, to, to eliminate any lingering doubts. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. You two are heading out together? Not sure the Commonwealth's ready for that. What's there to worry about? <laughs> How much trouble could two people really get into? I'd really love if people could actually turn around when they're talking to somebody. Okay, I will send Piper to Rocket Truck Stop. And then we're off. Wait, do we have another perk available? I don't think so. Do we? No, we don't. I guess the thing is still... Uh, The display is still open from, you know, before. Didn't update. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, <laughs> so there's plenty for you to do. Uh, Deacon, didn't you have a bald head just now? Jesus Christ, you guys! Seriously. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's explore this HQ of theirs. Apparently, it's in a in a crypt. Uh, we got people, railroad agents. More railroad agents. Listen up, everyone. This. Oh dear. I hate these round of introduction type things whenever you get a new job. I'm counting on each Hi, I'm Fan. I like hiking, swimming, and cryosleep. Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. 
It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead. Hey, guys, it's it's Garrus's voice actor. I don't suppose. Glad he still gets places. some work. Oh, pretty cool. It's like an order you around. Um, Why is that a bad job? Runners at the bottom of the totem pole on the railroad, just a hair above tourists. Being HQ's runner is a cut above field work, I suppose. Ah, someone's got to do it. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. Alright. Uh, he was there with them um, when we first got introduced. Okay, what's all this? Lots of stuff. We can actually take all this. So I don't see a real reason not to. And I will then. Medics is good. More stim packs. I'm uh, part of the team, right? So. Ah, it's our newest agent. Dr. Carrington. Testimonio told me to give you this. An ah. extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't need your Well, the attitude is mostly um, directed at Desdemona. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth, H222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Mm -hmm. mm. Is there anyone you like? What does that even mean? Uh. Oh, is there anyone you like? Maybe. <sighs> Sounds sure. like an important mission. Anything involving Stockton is important. It is. After switchboard. We're so short-handed, I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. <laughs> um... He taught me what I need to know, including that. It appears our resident pathological liar didn't completely neglect your training. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be mm -hmm. near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Okay. So we were gonna go there anyway, looks like. Let's raid some more of this uh, stuff here. Are you trying to impress someone? Come on, drop some of that. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, what do I not really need here? I guess I'll just eat something. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. That's not enough. Sure. There we go. Who else is Glad here? Glad you signed on. Glory! means I might get to take the occasional night off. They were talking about her. I hope know. to God the Institute doesn't follow. <laughs> hey, you. So. You the new heavy? Fixer, right? Yeah. Uh... What do you... What kind of question is that? Yep, that's me. I thought so. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Minds and shit too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? Well, pretty much. I didn't do it alone, but yeah, that's about the size of it. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. Uh. Well, it got a little messy. Do the synths bleed? I don't think so. 
But yeah, I. There's a lot to be said. I prefer that usually. Oh no, another one. <laughs> well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. Who's Tommy Whispers? Tommy was a second heavy. With him Oops. gone, Sorry about I've that. been running missions nonstop. So I'm damn happy you're here. Excellent. They call click, me Glory. Dialogue away. The Angel of Death. The ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. Okay. That's cool. I like it. What's not to like? You're helping out my people. So some advice? Kiss up to Tinker Tom. He's batshit crazy, but he's got all the good stuff. What sort of good stuff are we talking about? Firepower, armor, repurposed tech. Doesn't hold a candle to the Institute, but it'll save your ass in the field. Mm -hmm. You take care out there. Good to know. So yeah, this is what I was talking about in Covenant. Because the doctor there, she wanted to wipe out all the synths. Regardless if uh, they were, you know, working for the Institute or not. And this right there, where is she even? Like, Glory? She is the walking proof that, uh, you know, if since, since are liberated, they, well, they are, uh, you know, you gotta be careful, man. people. The Institute is everywhere. I know. Uh, they are people like everybody else for all intents and purposes, and uh, they... They uh, deserve human rights, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> the census sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. Right, Tinker Tom. Uh, wait, what? Did he s scam me for for being a synth? Uh, I went through a sensor sweep. Uh, hello. He's... Hey, Tom. What the fuck? Hey, I got everything you field agent types need. Even a few Tinker Tom specialities. <laughs> uh, do you have a problem? <laughs> He's either incredibly rude or that NPC just bugged out on me. So whatever. Maybe they were testing for sense. Let's take a look. <clears throat> take a look. Even though you know. It wouldn't really be a problem for Synths to join them, I assume. Okay, uh, let's dump some of this stuff and see what he's got uh, in store here. Tinker Tom special. If you're not yet in combat, increases VAT's accuracy but costs more AP. Okay. This looks actually incredible. This is exactly what I was looking for, actually. Man. Okay. Uh, it's just 212 credits? Seriously? Uh, bottle caps? I'll take this thing in a heartbeat, man. Oh, it's 2000. Uh, well, I can afford it. Um, although, yeah, it says right here it's 200. I guess my barter skill is not up to snuff. Uh, yeah, what do I get from the other one? Well, I can. You know what, with the purchase that extravagant, I actually want to take my time to uh, possibly keep as much money as I can, so uh, I'll see you in a moment. Alright, so I just uh, tinkered around a little bit with Tinker Tom's gun that I did acquire. Look at this. Look at this beauty. We got a suppressor on this thing now uh, with the special uh, 
attribute I already forgot. Uh, oh yeah, that's accuracy. You uh, get an increased amount uh, if you're out of combat, which is sweet. Okay, now uh, let's continue on our way to. Uh, if you something, take it. That's what it's there for. Yeah, <laughs> I've been way ahead of you, boss. <laughs> Right. Do we find anybody really else here? Doesn't really yourself. look like it. We're running since out of the well. Wastelanders can be a bigger problem than even the. You can get some of that stuff. Yeah. Let's leave a little bit at least. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Get a legend for all the signs they have. Ally, cash, danger, pointer. Safe house, dead drop. All right. Um, I think we're ready. What's over here? Oh, looks like a shooting range that somebody messed up. Um, yeah, why not? Oops. You gotta be careful, man. The institute is everywhere. I know. Where it is, Diamond City is under opposition control. Opposition control, huh? Glad you're with us. I guess there's something to those accusations. Okay. Up there. Assume you're Let's watched. see over here. All ah. All processes. All right. We got a, a robot in our midst Ham. as well. Processing. Ham. Fixer. Your arrival was not calculated. Nice to meet you too, I guess. <laughs> it's a strange way of saying That's hello. A strange way to say hello. Temporarily unable to process verbal input. Still processing. Preliminary <laughs> adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. Wow. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam, predictive analytic machine. Okay. You're just a broken machine? Uh, well, she's a little bit of a slow machine, but yeah. Hi, Pam. Introductory token recognized. Hello. I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing. What? I predict the future. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you didn't predict me coming. That's correct. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. <laughs> All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. So what you mean to say is you guess the future. <laughs> um. Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. Mm -hmm. But all predictions are affected by the human element. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Huh. Query, what is your point of origin? <laughs> yeah, now that's interesting. Um, maybe he is the one, you know. We take we've taken the red pill. Uh, I don't know if I want to trust that, or maybe. Mm. Pausing human machine interface. <laughs> Let's just say it's a long story. It's a long story. Processes reaching maximum capacity. Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. What a weird, weird lady. Um, okay, what do we have here? What the hell is this thing? This doesn't look uh, like regular order stuff. We've got Pam's mainframe here. I could hack into or something. Uh, but I won't right now. I don't want to uh, stretch this out 
longer than it has to be. Uh, yeah, I think we've pretty much seen everything in here. Uh, let's talk to Desdemona last Excuse one last me. time. I'm busy. Uh, I guess not then. All right. So in the next episode, I'm gonna head out with Deacon wherever he is to uh, quiet. for now. Interesting. Use the back to entrance. too much traffic through the church and we'll burn this hideout. Uh, where are we going again? <laughs> to this doctor, whatever his name is, to do something. We'll see. We'll see. I, I'm I'm sure we'll get back on track. So till next time.